YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel today. I've got some new shoes to go through, so let's get right into it. <music> So you saw that correctly, that is Oak Street Bootmakers. I don't know if you've heard of them before, but they're based out of Chicago, Illinois. And I've seen a lot of them online. Like you guys know, I'm not a big uh, loafer, moccasin kind of guy. There's people out there like Nick from Stribewise that cover that stuff ex extensively. So I never claim to be an expert on it. I just know what I like to look at and what feels comfortable. So I've kind of dipping my toe into this now. Uh, so I, I've saw, seen a lot of stuff about Oak Street Bootmakers recently. Uh, so I thought I wanted to upgrade my boat shoes. You see my boat shoes in some other previous videos and they were on their last legs. They're dead, they're gone. They don't really fit my setting. I can't really wear them to work that often. Uh, so I wanted to sort of upgrade a little bit. So what did I get from Oak Street Bootmakers? Well, I got myself a pair of penny moccasins and they're in the brown hauling chrome xl which just smells incredible now i think these are a good step up like i said from the boat shoes because they're a bit more professional i can wear them to work but i can also wear them with shorts around town when it's nice and warm i don't like wearing socks with my boat shoes but i imagine i can with these now they've got the flat brazilian rubber sole which i think just fits my style better the stepped heel on say a um a loafer is a bit more i would say a bit more dressed up and a bit more dressy which i am going to investigate in another video uh, don't you worry about that but i think for my just for a placement of the boat shoes these are perfect now the rubber sole is just comfortable as hell the, the one thing i noticed when i put these on straight away was there's no real break in right so it was just straight on slipped in because of that leather that chrome xl leather it's got that uh, almost like that really I don't know what it's called, but it's almost like a, a sheen, a shine, a little um, uh, softness on your skin when you take them off. It's coming from the inside of the leather. Now, the leather smells amazing. And because it's Halloween, everything I've read about Halloween leather is it uh, stretches kind of uh, a lot. Out of all the leathers, it's probably the one that stretches the most. So they recommend you go one full size down from your Brannock device. Uh, and that brings me to sizing. So sizing for me, it has been a nightmare recently. Uh, I've grown up before I got into all this around uh, just wearing, you know, Nike, Nike Air Max and I was a US 12, UK 11 and that's what I thought my entire life. Uh, recently, I've sort of noticed that I'm probably not that size and I have found out the hard way by getting the incorrect sizing on a lot of things. So uh, using the Brannock device and very other, various other methods, I'm, I should be an 11, a US 11, so that's a UK 10, uh, which is not always the case. Um, <laughs> So Oak Street Bootmakers recommend you size down one full size. So these are a US 10. Uh, because it's a hauling leather, it's gonna stretch considerably to uh, mold to your feet. I have found that, uh, and much like lo most people, you will have one foot that is bigger or smaller than the other. Uh, and I do, my left foot is quite bigger. So when I put these on, my left foot toes were hitting the end, uh, scary at first, but after, I could say after, it's been what, nearly two weeks now, uh, they have stretched and they're super comfortable. They're super comfortable. I can't explain how comfortable these are. I was very, very surprised. As they're hauling leather, they are starting to take on their own kind of patina to them. And that's after only two weeks, which is amazing. I was sitting the other day and accidentally scuffed the back of a curb. Um, so I've scuffed this back off here. Um, I imagine that's gonna come back to normal or I'll just treat it with something, but I'm gonna get more of those to be honest with you. What else is there to tell you? These are in the 555 last, which is a traditional last for their loafers as well. Uh, the other thing is a whole big thing that they make about um, all of their products that they produce is everything is recraftable, I think they call it. So all the soles can be replaced. They do a service where you can send it back to them and they'll re, uh, you know, put other soles on them. Or if you, you know, in another country, you could probably do it yourself with a, a local company. But I think that's really cool. They're not just a one use thing. And I found that really was the case with my boat shoes. There was nowhere to send them to get re sold or, you know, the, the, basically the inside of them were uh, ripped out and I just, couldn't get it fixed anywhere so i had to I had to basically bin them uh so the fact that these guys offer a, a service where you can get them refurbished and resold and all that jazz uh i think is, is is incredible and i think more companies should do that in terms of comfort they are amazing straight out the box they 
feel so good on your skin with no socks on just that i don't know that residue from the new leather just leaves that really soft silky smooth on your skin i don't know if you know what i'm talking about uh the sizing they say it's going to be a little snug and tight when you get it if you size right and it'll stretch out and mold your skin and it was mold your feet sorry and that was pretty much exactly what happened my toes are a little bit long on one of them but they've already stretched out within two weeks and it started i don't know if you can see in the light here starting to get nice little lumps and bumps where my toes are so it's starting to cry and mold to my body which I think is amazing uh, comfort wise yeah they're super super comfortable they're a very pliable shoe as well so uh, I can't really fault them on comfort on looks they look great you'll see me here wearing them I think I compare them with pretty much most things with um, denim with uh, my fatigues with my shorts I've been doing it all and they don't look they don't look that terrible I think the color wise these are the brown chrome XL so probably uh, the natural chrome XL is probably bit more um, you can wear them with a lot more things but I did want to go a bit bold with these because I think when they patina they're going to look even better than the, the natural ones so you yeah I can't really uh, you can't really pick a bad color with these things to be honest with you now I'm going to wear these for a few more months I think we've still got a, a few months still of, of kind of fine weather and come back to you in a few months and show you what they look like see show you how they have fared and how they feel uh, and if you want to get yourself a pair they retail around 328 US dollars from Oak Street Bootmakers. They ship uh, free worldwide. So um, if you want to get yourself a pair of these, they're great. I think Oak Street Bootmakers are really known for, they do a beef roll penny um, loafer and that's really popular. They always sell out in that one. Um, so I was really almost going to go with that, but I thought I wanted to sort of, as I said at the beginning, sort of dip my toe into this. I wanted to go a bit more conservative with the flat bottom which i have here and i think i've i've done a, a really good job on that really quick one guys i know i haven't done this in a while but i'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe if you don't already i know there's a lot of new viewers recently and a lot of you don't subscribe so it really helps me grow this channel bring stuff like this to the channel to show you guys trying to get to 10,000 this year almost at 9,000 so it's very much doable so it really helps me if you hit that red button so let's get back to the video one of the things around the brown chrome excel that i really love and that's one of the reasons why i went for it is where it starts to curve around your toes or parts of your feet certain areas start to go lighter in color it's almost like a fade uh, but it's not it's, it's i think it's where it's kind of been uh, you know stretched a little bit over a certain point and the rest of the the shoe in in other areas stays the the, the original dark brown and I, I love that and i think that's going to accentuate more as you wear it uh, and you wouldn't really see that as much in the uh, the natural chrome XL. so really looking forward to how these start to pan out patina even just holding them now i can already see the shape is starting to form of my feet which is cool and that's two weeks of wear so i'll come back to you and let you know how it is in a few uh, weeks to months time Overall, lovely, lovely pair of moccasins. Definitely a step up from my boat shoes. So far, it's the only thing I've got in this type of uh, category, I would say. Uh, super comfortable. At the moment, it's the best pair of loafers that I've seen uh, that fits my type of uh, interest, what I want. Uh, and I, I think it's going to remain that way. Uh, I hope you did enjoy that. If you did, drop a comment down below. Let me know what kind of moccasins or loafers that you guys wear and what I should know about or what companies I should look for. Uh, and I will be sure to look into it. But with all that being said, have a great day and see you in the next one.